Welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ramchandar. In the last video, I did cover different programs related to file, file output stream as well as file input stream. Especially in this video, I am going to talk about data output stream and data input stream, data output stream and data input stream. So, mainly before going to talk about data output stream and input stream, first uh, let me talk about the drawbacks of file output stream and input stream. File output stream always, in, always placing the data in the format of 40 characters and file input stream always reading the data in the format of int twice. But with the help of the file output stream, we cannot place short related data, we cannot place string related data, we cannot place boolean related data. See this type of data we cannot place and with the help of the file input stream, we are always reading the data in the format of what int only, we cannot access the data in different formats. If you want to access the data in different formats, then we should prefer data output stream and input stream. To overcome the drawback of file output stream and input stream, we should go for the concept like what here, data output stream as well as what input stream, data output stream as well as what here, input stream. Very simple, let me, uh, let me develop one small program related to data output stream as well as what uh, input stream. Now, object here, so let me delete this I O exception, good, yeah. Now, I am writing like, if you want to communicating with uh, files by using data output stream, we required one constructor, what is that uh, data output stream, data output stream uh, dys equal to, data output stream dys equal to new data output stream. New data output stream, it will uh, accessing new data output stream asking to enter, asking to enter what here output stream type. So, here uh, let me take output stream type is what here FOS. So, what is the FOS here? File output stream, file output stream, FOS equal to new file output stream. Now, what I am taking here? File. Where did I declare file class object? File file equal to new file of uh, test2 dot txt, test2 dot txt. So, who will communicating with the file first? File class, java dot iva dot file class. That java dot iva dot file class, we are passing as what here? Parameter to fos, parameter to fos, okay? And FOS we are forwarding to what here? DOS. Now, on top of the DOS, I am calling write int of byte array, byte data, I am sending what here? 100. DOS dot write of, DOS dot write of, write int 200, I am writing. Now, DOS dot write double, DOS dot write double, 12.23D and dys dot write care, write care single code A. Now, dys dot write, dys dot write utf for sending the data, here I am sending like what, Ramchandra. Now, dys dot write boolean, now I am sending the data like what, false or like I am sending the data like a true. Now, after sending the data, what I am doing here, I am reading the data by using what here, data input stream, file input stream, fis equal to new file input stream. So, in the file input stream, what I am writing here, same reference variable like file. Now, observe guys here, here I am using data, data input stream, data input stream, das equal to new data, new data input stream, new data input stream, what I am writing here, fis. Now, guys observe, system dot out dot print line, what is that, ds dot write data input stream, ds dot 
read read method or ds dot read next one system dot out dot print alone ds dot read int next one system dot out dot print alone ds dot read ds dot read double next one system dot out dot print alone ds dot read 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 care system dot out dot print alone ds dot read utf now finally system dot out dot print alone ds dot read boolean very nice so let me execute this program see the output guys so what is the output here what is the output here c 100 200 12.23 a ramchandra true absolutely fantastic so with the help of the fos and fis we can able to write the data only in the format of char and we can able to read the data only in the format of int but with the help of dys and das with the help of dys and das we can able to write and read different type of data very nice now will you please observe guys last three statements i am writing first to three now let me execute this program now see the output guys beautiful again what is that are you getting right output no that means what is the problem here what in which order we are going to write the data into the file in the same order we are going to read whatever the order we follow to place the data into the file in the same order we need to read if you are not reading in the same order there may be a chance of what you are getting illegal output unreliable output or sometimes we are getting exceptions also so here the mandatory point is what here here the mandatory point is what here come on here the mandatory point is what order if there is no order we will facing what here problems this is the main and one more important is data output stream again taking the support of what file output stream that means data output stream is not directly communicating with the file data output stream first to take the support of file output stream later it will communicate as usual data input stream is not directly communicating with the file itself it is uh, taking the support of what here file input stream so this is the program related to data output stream as well as what here input stream i hope you enjoy this video for more videos please subscribe to naresh it channel thank you